everyone. It's Sandra from Midwest Charm. We have a storefront in Pine City, Minnesota, which is right on the border of Minnesota and Wisconsin. And we also have an online shop at www.midwestcharm.co. No M. I'm coming at you today with a thrift haul. And this is a massive, massive thrift haul. Um, we had plans for our picking day. And then the next thing I know, my husband took a turn and I'm like, where are you going? And we went off the beaten path and hit a different spot than what we had planned and it paid off. My cart, if I remember, I'll insert footage here and it was completely full. Hubby was carrying stuff. It was a lot of stuff and we put a lot of stuff back. There was still stuff we could have gotten that very easily would have fit in with the decor of our store. So let's just get started because I have a good three boxes worth of stuff. I have um, a tall mirror that I'm going to insert a picture of because it's heavy and I don't want to lift it. I'll be honest. One of the corners up here, um, or you'll see it in the video footage. Maybe I'll just replay that. Um, and let's get going with the rest of this stuff. I've got two of these mirrors. So this shape tends to sell really well for us. Both of these will get painted up, um, maybe matching, maybe just a shade off. I haven't decided yet. Um, we end up selling these for about $17.95 to $19.95 in the store. Um, again, that shape sells really well for us. A uh, hubby found this, and it is actually metal. I thought it was, it might all be cast if you look at the texture on there. Um, this will probably go for about $18.95 in the store. Uh, because it's so heavy duty. Um, I got a moose, you guys. Just a woodcut of a moose. I am going to probably paint him and just stress him back since his color's so pretty. Um, I think even leaving him as is, he would sell. He does have a hook on the back here where um, he's going to hang. So he's going to be a good, usually moose, bears, things like that sell really well for us. Um, usually the minute we post a picture, it's gone. But this guy will get put into the store. Again, I haven't decided if I'm painting him or not. So he's going to go in my pile of, I'm not sure if I'm flipping him. I grabbed this bag of goodies for the strawberries. The strawberries look really good. And I grabbed this at a different thrift store than what you will see strawberry related later. Um, there's little apples too that I don't care for. I don't know. I, I probably just end up redonating those back. And here we have an old fashioned, um, basically this was used during courtship. And once the candle melted down to here, your time was up. So depending on how much the family liked you, depended on how much time you got. So um, I may paint up the base and distress this back. So far, we've got a lot of stuff that needs to be redone. Let me move this down here. I put that in the wrong pile. These guys are stuck. There we go. I picked up, there's another one somewhere. Um, just some, why can I not think what these are called today? Holy smokes, you guys. Anyways, we, these are great for holding cookbooks. Um, so I will usually use them like that, but we also will use them to put like our Swedish dishcloths on them um, and set them for display or like our journals that we carry. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm going to use those ones or sell them. I don't think we have very many left in the store. So they will both probably go up for sale. Um, again, on the moose theme, one of them was a package of two and one is a package of one. Um, these are just going to go straight into the store. I'll hang them on the wall at staggering intervals, hang like a dish towel or something from them. They'll be super cute in there. I'm not even going to paint them. I don't think, I think I'm going to leave them. I'll probably sell them, uh, $9.99 each. We've got this heavy duty brass made in Hong Kong candle holder. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but you can actually see through those little bars there. So I'm just gonna clean this up. There's some wax on the top. Get that cleaned up and get that into the store. And I don't even remember everything I got, you guys. 
Oh, hubby found this cute little cardinal, little chubby bird. So that is gonna get cleaned up and put into the store. We've been having a hard time finding just little birds lately for whatever reason. Um, please let me know what this is called. I cannot remember, but you put it in the middle of the pie so that the steam bubbles out and it doesn't like explode all over your beautiful crust. I've never found one in the wild before. So I was really happy to find that. That's just gonna get cleaned up and put in the store. Oh, I remember these. I, we do well selling mugs. Um, I'm really picky about the ones we get, but these ones are hand done and they are beautiful. And we found a pair of them, which is awesome. So mugs, we typically sell in the range of $9.99 to $14.95, $9.95 to $14.95, depending on what they are. I haven't decided when I'm gonna put these at. Usually the handmade ones, we do ask a little bit more for because they're harder to find, especially in a pair. So those will get cleaned up and put into the store. Let's do a set of two little silver plated pieces these will just go right in the store um i've mentioned before these do really well for us as well and more things that need flipped so candlesticks so this size and we have three of them these are all getting painted so these are going in my different pile over here two that are the same height and then i've got one a little bit bigger that matches this and then this one. These are all gonna get painted. This size goes for $12.95 in the store to four, about $12.95 on this one. This will be $12 or $14.95. And they will all get painted. And the matching ones will all get the same look. And then the other one will be in one of our other popular colors. I'm just not sure what yet. I picked up some adorable little art. I'm not crazy about the frames. So I think I'm just going to paint the frames a white or a cream. And these are from Kohl's and were originally 30 bucks a piece. I will probably paint the frames and put them in the store for about 15 to $16 each. And these I'm not doing anything to other than cleaning them up. And if the frames don't clean up, I'll put a fresh coat of white on them. These um, are by Claudia Pearson. They were sold at Target. Usually there's a date, 2016. I don't know, I really liked the clean lines. You know I love the color that's in this one. And the, they just will really fit well with what is in our store already. Box number one out of the way. Oh, got this cool um, shoe shine kit, you guys. I don't know, there's three, I don't have scissors right here. There's three brushes in here, three different, four different brushes in here. And I haven't decided if I'm gonna sell it all as one kit with, you know, stage it with some florals or maybe some ironstone in there too would be really pretty. Just the white popping off of um, the wood color. And it does have branding on that. And it's still really nice and bright. So I haven't decided exactly for sure what I'm doing with it. I just knew that was a score and grab that quickly. I think we're going to use this as a coffee um, mug rack. I'm not sure what else it would be. You guys have any ideas? Hubby found it. The price was right. So we grabbed it. And you know, I can't go thrifting without grabbing baskets. This one was only $1.99, which in our area is really good. Um, the tone of this is the tone that I like the best. You all know that by now, or if you knew, you'll know that. <laughs> um, this size will probably go for about $9.99 or $9.95 to like $11.95-ish. And if you haven't seen um, a shop tour, I usually stage all of our baskets together. Like right now, they're all like stacked and layered in underneath a sofa table and they look so stinking pretty. If I remember to grab a picture of it the next time at the store, I'll pop it up in one of the corners or if I have one. Um, but those will probably go in there unless I need them for something in the store or I'm staging something else and trying to do a vignette and then I'll grab one and bring it over there. I have no idea what this is, you guys. I paid $4.99 for it. No idea what it is. I just thought it was cool. Aesthetically, it fits in with the decor in the store. And I will find somewhere to put it. I don't know. If you know what it is, let me know. A lot of things I didn't know today, which 
doesn't typically happen. This was too cute. I just ordered some um, terracotta pots too because I have an idea for those. Um, I paid $4.99 for it. I'm trying to see if there's a price on here. Sometimes they cover the price so you can't see it. What it originally was, it's not on here. It's not on here. Anyways, I thought it was cute. Um, I don't even mind the little flower pieces. Sometimes those really bother me. I'm going to leave all those attached, put a little terracotta pot in there that I've aged to look old, and that'll be ready to go. Oh, another easel. What do you want to call these? This one's huge. This will be great for one of our vintage cookbooks. Although I think this one's more for art because if you look, the hooks just aren't quite as rounded. Oh my gosh, these are stuck. Okay, so Hubby found these. Again, what are they? I don't know, but I'm going to make shelves out of them. I think I'm going to go find some barn wood and attach the barn wood to the tops so of these make cute little shelves. I don't know what else they're for. I don't know. What do you guys think? What are they for? Do I make one long shelf with it or two little short ones? And they're really, really heavy. Oh, I grabbed this basket, you guys. This one... I love the shape of it. And I'm sure it's for a plant, which would look amazing in there. We have some um, string of pearls that draped out of here would be so beautiful. And that will go in the store as is. This was another hubby find. Again, we do pretty well selling the stuff plated silver. Um, wood handle, that's all nice and chippy. This will just get cleaned up, get the tape goo off of it. Um, and we'll put it out, stage it with, I don't know, something inside of the lid and the lid kind of propped in front of it. <laughs> this is just a cute little doggy. I will probably paint him up to do the cement look on him. He's just um, cast stone out of Lake Pleasant, Massachusetts. He will probably be put up for about $8.95 once he's painted. A cute little frame, you guys, has, has a bird. Do you see the bird? I was like, oh, we were in the checkout line, which was really long today or yesterday. And I'm like, I have to have that. This will probably get painted white and then just stressed back to that black. Oh, I just scared a cat, you guys. Um, I found rolling pins. I have such a hard time finding them in our area for whatever reason. So this is gonna get the red distress. This is not an old one. We're gonna make it look old and it may get um, like those new IOD transfers has got some gorgeous, I don't know if I have them right here. I don't think I do. I think they're over on the other side of the room. Has some new roses that would be stunning with those red handles. So these are all just going to get upcycled. None of these are old and precious or ones that I would collect personally. So we'll upcycle those. And we've moved on to the last box. I honestly think there's still stuff in Hubby's car because... I feel like there was more than this. We got um, a cast iron hook and after I was out, I realized the other little antenna is gone, but I had already planned on attaching this to some wood. So what I'm gonna do is just take some air dry clay and create the other antenna. So, and then paint it all. So it looks like it was meant to be that way, you know? We'll, we'll hide that boo-boo. I grabbed this little note thing. I thought this was super cute. It's missing the little dowel here so I may try to find a dowel to pop in there but these are always really fun and I haven't decided if I'm painting that or not probably a uh, pit berry wreath and this one was $4.99 we typically this size and this nice would probably be um $13.14.95 probably more on the $14 to $15.95 range I just got some stars. These, um, we have one of our tiered trays. I've got different metal stars. We've got some wall pocket ones and some other ones that I'm just gonna probably even leave these as is and throw them in there. I 
love anything with these little birds on it and the jewelry holders do really well. Um, I'm just, I'm going to leave as is. This is perfect to toss your, you know, your Apple watch or your, your keys, your wallet, whatever, when you walk in the door or in your bedroom. Super cute. Another thing that seems odd, but I've sold quite a few of these. I will probably stain him up the darker wood tone and sell him. He's just an Ikea piece. Do they have prices on there for Ikea? I never remember. Anyways, this guy will probably be about $14.95 once I'm done with him. And this was a different box from a different um, thrift store. This one's a little bit older than the last one, but it's nothing that's like... You got to keep it. So this one will get upcycled as well. That's right. Four rolling pins after not finding any for a while. I mean, we found a few here and there, but um, Katie has not seen this yet. She hasn't seen any of it. So she may end up grabbing this, but this is just a little repop tin to make it look old. I'm not doing anything to this. Just going to wipe it down, stick it in the store. It's <laughs> so super cute. This is just an old clipboard. We are going to upcycle this with Roy Cycled uh, Treasures decoupage paper. Um, her new spring line came out. It's been like two weeks now, I think, you guys. Um, of course, I don't know when I'm going to upload this film for, or this video for you guys, so it may have been longer. This is going to get painted white, pop some decoupage paper on there. These usually do pretty well. Um, we got a set of these which normally they don't sell them as sets, they sell them as singles. So this was like in our book a score. And I know these are for um, curtain rods, but they sell really well for us just as either like a bookend or as um, like little shelves on the wall. So that's how we will paint these. I'll probably do the cement look on these too, you guys, not gonna lie. That does really well for us. And now onto the strawberry stuff, or at least some of it. Um, there's a, a collection. Let me grab the rest of this first before. So I've got three of these milk glasses. I paid up a little bit more than I normally would have. Um, has the ivy. I have not seen it with the ivy on that. So um, I thought they were pretty cute. I mean, I've got three of them. I haven't dug them all out of my box, but there are three of these. Um, and they will go into the store styled together. It'll be really adorable. And then let's grab... I'm gonna grab all this strawberry stuff so you guys can see it all together. Oh, let me show you this one first. So this is just a really cute little doggy mug. This will be a $9.95 mug in the store. And strawberry. So this is the set here. And yes, they make you pay per each, not for the set, but that's okay. Um, I'm gonna do a little strawberry um, vignette in the store. We did one last year in the window and we sold like pretty much everything to one person. It was pretty great. I know this isn't old, but it's cute and it's pretty and it will look really cute in a pastel -y vignette. And you can style those up so easy with so many different. Again, Katie has not seen this haul, but look at this mug with all the chickens, you guys. I love it. I debated on keeping this. This is not like the size. It's a great soup mug though. Um, we'll see if she ends up keeping that one or not. Other two vases. And we have these salt and pepper shakers. They are Otajiri, which I've had, um, when I did eBay, I'd had really good luck selling Otajiri items. And these are from 1982. They have the strawberries on them. The little plastic plugs are still there. Those will go in that same strawberry vignette. Oh, this is adorable. Uh, things like this, we have these galvanized cubbies in the back, in the back room that we have. And we like to put little things in there, whether it's kitchen items or whatever. And people love digging through them and stuff like this. And it just makes people ooh and ah. Although I do have some kitties elsewhere in the store, so maybe I'll put them all together. I haven't quite decided yet. Oh, and another little bird. I think Hubby found this one too. It was only $1.99. I believe it's Homeco. 
These usually go um, between $6.95 to $8.95, depending on the size. And last but not least, another a little planter with strawberries. Again, we're going to do a strawberry. It's made in Japan, so I know this is old, and I can tell by the, the feel of it it's old too. But this will go in that same strawberry vignette. We're going to do um, a lot of red in that vignette. Um, I don't usually do a lot of red in the store, so it'll be, it'll be fun to put together. Um, that is my whole haul for today. Um, if you heard me mention, I bought some terracotta pots, um, in little sizes, three different little sizes. And we have done, um, classes with those before where we've used the IOD clay, air dry clay and the molds and made little, um, pots and painted them. Super cute, really easy and super fun. But I'm going to actually do the cement look on this big pot here. And I think we missed this the last thrift haul. I'm going to do this, the gray cement look, and then fill this with all those little terracotta pots. And I'm going to have them distressed and age, and it'll be super cute. I love the idea of that. Um, we, were gonna, we usually do like an area with all sorts of just different planters and vases and whatnot. And this will go like as the centerpiece of that, that um, vignette. And then we had this candle holder, which will go in as is. Somebody's already painted it or it came that way. Probably came that way. And it's distressed. I actually really like it. So it'll probably go in as is. And then this one, will, ooh, I almost dropped something. This is metal, I think. Maybe it's resin. Anyways, this will get a paint job, you guys, because I'm not digging that. And then obviously you've seen the, I don't know, is this an urn planter? Whatever that is. Oh, and the last thing, we use this to hold all of our stuff that we bought. This is huge. It's like clothing basket size. Um, and that's going to go into the store with some rolled up quilts. So that's my haul. Please like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.